Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Frank, and I come to major uh, in STEAM, and this is my final year. So uh, today I want to talk about the foreign um, business expansion. Um, you know, um, a lot of firm in the world they want to expand the business overseas. For example, the 3M, McDonald's, Cargill, also the Big Four, Shields, uh, Volkswagen, and also the Citibank. Today, I want to talk about the free expansion in strategies, uh, advantages, and challenges. First, I want to talk about the strategy. So that is how the uh, companies to do their um, foreign expansions. So first, it's a brand stretching. So um, that, is, that is means the company set up an individual brand overseas to uh, attract the foreign customers to buy or have their service. For example, the KFC in China set up an individual brand called the uh, Eastern Sunrise, which only sells Chinese fast food. That's very popular in China. And the second, second one is a new style of knife. Um, for example, Apple company not sells the cell phone, but it also recommends a new style of the phone to everyone. Um, and third one is uh, improve the company's reputation. So if the company's reputation is good, has a good product, um, good customer service, that can help the company to lead a good effect to the customers. That is advantages. So um, the advantages of foreign expansion, uh, the first is uh, more opportunities can provide them. Um, the opportunities include um, that uh, attract more foreign investors and also the cultural diversity. So that different um, backgrounds of people work together can have the different um, kind of ideas and thinking to the, can, can bring the company a lot of benefit. The third one is to improve the business influences um, to all over the world. That that can make you company stronger. Um, the uh, last one is easy to make profit. Um, so, um, so in many foreign countries, like Asian countries, um, they have the cheap labor and cheap material cost can help the company to reduce the cost and improve the profit. That is a challenge. Also the culture, first one. For the culture difference, sometimes it's, it's very hard for the different kind of background of people to talk with each other because they have a different um, background. And then it's a different government policy. So, um, you know, every country's um, government has its own rules and um, uh, own rules to control the foreign companies and the foreign investment because they want to make sure their economy is in, um, in a good condition. So, unfortunately, not all of the company have the success in the free expansion. I have the example of the Best Buy. It fails to um, expand its business in China. So, in 2006, Best Buy started its, uh, its business in China, but in 2011, it closed its only nine um, stores in China because it lost a lot of money. And the employees of Best Buy China lost their jobs. Like this, they protest outside, like um, it's a Best Buy to return mere opportunities and money. So um, let's compare that. So the Best Buy's unit style is kind of, um, Best Buy is kind of supermarket to sell the computers at a fixed price on the price tag, on the price tag, um, tags. But the Chinese um, customer buying habits you want to compare to the individual sellers and compare the discount and prices. So like this, the individual sellers. So in conclusion, so the company not only uh, need to focus on advantages of the um, foreign expansion, but also they need to do more research before the foreign expansion. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you so much.